what are the five best U.S. cities to meet single women? I've taught programs all around the United States and just about every single major city there is. And what I found is some places are better, some places are worse. But I wanted to really break it down to the five best cities that I've been to, the funnest, the greatest places to meet single women and share them with you here in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So four and five are gonna be technically not US cities, but they're so close and they're so awesome that I included them on this list. So four and five are gonna be Montreal and Toronto, the two huge Canadian cities that are right over the United States border, right into Canada. And the reason I put these ones on the list is because I've had such an awesome time in these two cities. I spent a month in Montreal uh, back in 2012. Not only was the nightlife great, but the drinking age was 18, and there was about three or four colleges all around the center of the city. So the nightlife was crazy. I remember we, we went out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, there was a place to go every single night of the week. There was tons of beautiful women there. And it felt like, it felt like, um, had like almost a European vibe. The girls were super friendly, super cool. And man, it felt like a hidden gem. The only downfall of Montreal is that it definitely gets really cold. Now I went there in the summer, two months uh, out of the summer. Man, it's one of the best places that you could be. So I definitely think you should check it out. Toronto is kind of in the same boat, but a little bit different. Toronto I found was a very professional city. So I wound up going out and I went there in the winter time, but when I went out Friday and Saturday night, I met women who had jobs, were very professional, and when they went out on Friday and Saturday, they're very excited to be done with work and meet guys. They were very excited to meet me and have a good time and really just enjoy their lives and let loose and get away from their, their, uh, their jobs during the week. So I thought that was really cool. And it's also a very busy and very popular city. I believe the population um, I'll have to look it up and add it over the top of the video here, but it's a, it's a very large population, you know, bigger than a lot of uh, U.S. cities. So it had a lot of people, a lot of beautiful women, and people were very open to, uh, to, to chat and meet people and to go out and have fun on the weekend. So Montreal and Toronto are two awesome cities. Definitely visit them in the summertime if you can. Now my third favorite U.S. city to meet single women is going to be Los Angeles. I absolutely love Los Angeles. It's a city that I'm looking forward to moving to in the future. I was there four times last year. And what I love about LA is you're definitely gonna get the top quality of women. There's no doubt about that. There's a lot of beautiful women there. There's a lot of women who are doing cool things with their lives. It also can be a professional city as well too. A lot of women have jobs and um, you know take dating seriously out there. And I, I mentioned that because what I found is you know sometimes in college cities, when you have a lot of college girls and, and um, more of a younger crowd you'll meet a lot of women who you know they want to go out and party and have fun but they're kind of clicky with their college crew and that and they could be not as open to meeting strangers i've, I've definitely found that in more college -y type places so los angeles what, what i also like is it has a little bit of something for everybody you know i like to go out in more of the beach towns in santa monica and venice what i love about that are people are just kind of chill laid back it's right by the beach and the nightlife is really good man when you go out there's lots of beautiful women i mean i've been out and just seen some of the women there, I'm like, man, this is like land of the really tall, really attractive women, and, and you meet them and they're super cool, they're doing awesome things. So um, I really like Los Angeles, it's one of my favorite cities. Definitely a great place, and the second largest city in the US as well, so there's a lot of population and a lot of everything. You know, pr probably the cons of Los Angeles is it's very expensive to live. There are a lot of different neighborhoods, so if you live in one neighborhood and want to go out somewhere else, you could spend almost an hour driving to it, which is kind of crazy, so logistics can be tough. But if you find an area that you like, like I said, I like Santa Monica and Venice, and if you're living out there, you could live a great life, and it could be very enjoyable. Now, my second favorite U.S. city for meeting single women I had to put on here is Las Vegas. I actually lived in Las Vegas for a year. I spent a lot of time in there over the years. Definitely when I was teaching, I went there every single year. We had big conferences. And, you know, it may not be the best place if you're looking to settle down and maybe find a girlfriend or something really serious. But if you're looking to practice, and have a good time, and definitely create some epic stories and have a lot of great memories, then Vegas is the place to be. Man, you could go out 
on a Saturday night, especially a busy weekend, there could be 10,000 people at a club like XS, man. And, and just girls going by, you can meet so many people. And really, it's a great place to practice. It's one of my favorite places to teach. Um, and one of my least favorite places to teach because you wind up staying out till about 4 or 5 a.m. Um, being on PST as well, too. So that, that, that winds up adding up. But it's one of my favorite places to teach because you can get so much experience and so much reference. So if you ever want to take a stint and just practice approaching and practice having conversations with women um, when you know there's going to be a lot of them around, then Vegas is definitely a place to be. Not only that, but it attracts people from all different cities. And I've, I have seen the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life in Las Vegas. Cool thing too is I'll go there for expos, right? They have fitness expos there. Um, they have tech expos and stuff like that. I love the fitness expos and the nightlife is always gonna be awesome. So, I mean, the, the cons of it is you're gonna be up really late. If you live there and try to date, a lot of people work in the industry, so they're up really late as well. It could be tough to really get on a sleep schedule. You know, unless you're buying tables or buying tickets in advance, you know, it can add up going out. You know, you can't just walk into the club. You're going to have to buy a ticket or have a table or something like that if you're a guy. So it can get expensive if you're there. But, you know, if you wind up living there and knowing people, you can work around that. And just an awesome place. And if you haven't been there, go there, have some fun, create some epic stories. Some of my best memories and stories and crazy stuff that I've done has definitely come out of Vegas. So you should definitely check it out. And the number one city that I have on my list for meeting and dating single women is New York City. Now, it's no surprise, it's the largest U.S. city, and with that, it's also very densely populated together. The island of Manhattan is very tight. And the cool thing about New York is you have so much going on in your vicinity, okay? I don't usually advocate dating apps for everybody. I don't think they work for every single guy, but you know, in a place like New York City, you have so many women in such a small area that you know, something like dating apps can work really well because of just the amount and of sheer volume that you have all around you. The nightlife, it can be hit or miss. You know, It's gonna be a little bit loud and a little darker during the winter times because of the weather. That's the only really big downfall of the city. But during the summer, you'll have outdoor spots, rooftop spots, which are really awesome. And a lot of guys, you know, approaching women during the day, you could do that all year long, those women everywhere all around the city just as you're going about your business you'll see beautiful women walking around everywhere that's another bonus so really solid online dating for approaching women during the day it's awesome the nightlife's a little better in the summertime but but you know it um you can get out and there's good places to go all year long and also there's more women in new york city than men so the ratio is a little skewed off and there's a lot of homosexual men as well so you have less competition for single women in New York. And because of that, I've noticed these these um, statistics and ratios can really play into your favor. So because of that, women will respond better. And it's the same thing as um, I mentioned before with, um, with Toronto, it's a professional city. So women are definitely looking to meet guys. They work during the week, they go out when they wanna go out on dates, they wanna meet guys and they, they, they wanna connect with you, okay? So they're very open to meeting new people. And a lot of people have migrated there. Not a lot of people were born and raised in Manhattan. And because of that, everybody's new, there's a lot of anonymity, and people are more open to meeting strangers. So it's definitely the best place in the U.S. to meet single women. So if you haven't been, definitely go and check it out. And it's also a place to consider living as well. What I want to know is your favorite place to meet women. Where have you been? And it could be outside the U.S. as well. You know, if you traveled all around, you know, I've been to South America and been to Europe and, and you know, Stockholm, Sweden comes to mind as an awesome place. I had a lot of fun in. So, if you can comment in the comments below and let me and let us know what's been your favorite place to meet women. Let's share the wealth and I'm looking forward to hearing your responses. And when you're ready, I'll have the next video lined up for you. And feel free to go to my channel and check out any of the other videos that I have for you.